many people have been asking for tutorials about how to make headlights, uh, street lights, and that kind of uh, effects. And I have a tutorial about that on the manipulation secrets when I talked about illumination and light effects. And in some other tutorial I used the technique that I will show you now. But the way I create uh, city lights and headlights for cars and things like that is using the, the lens flare filter. And I have two images here. The image of this car and then uh, this other image and I will show you how I use uh, that technique. It's really, it's really easy. So what I do is create a new layer, get the elliptical marquee tool. You can also use the rectangular one but the elliptical is better because the flare is round and the glow of light is round so uh, this one uh, makes more sense. And what you do is press the shift key and click and drag in order to create a perfect circle like that. Make sure you make it bigger than um, than the object where you want to put the light because you will you will you can make that uh, smaller uh, afterwards and then press alt and backspace to fill that image with black of course you have to make sure that the foreground color is set to black or and then use that shortcut or go to edit uh, fill and um, from here choose black and click ok but it's a lot faster using the alt and the backspace key and once you have that um, selection filled with black, go, go to filter, render, lens flare. And the type of flare that I use most of the times is the 105 millimeters because I like that uh, effect, the, that glow. This one has uh, all those spikes and I don't like that. I don't really like this one either. And I recommend you use this one. And what you have to do here is make sure the flare is centered here. Uh, usually it will be here or on some other place, but you have to make sure it's uh, in, sen in the middle of your uh, of your circle here. So do your best to center it, and make sure you leave the brightness to 100%. That's important because if you if you boost it like that, you'll have some problems there on the edges. So make sure you leave it at 100% and click OK. If the flare comes out uh, too small, just make the circle bigger and then reapply the filter and keep the brightness to 100%. And then change the blend mode of this layer to screen. And as you can see, I have now the flare on a separate layer. And with the move tool, you can place this uh, wherever you want. So I'll place it here. But the problem that you have here, and some people ask me how they can solve that, and it's really easy. Let me move that away. You can see that you have some edges here, if I move it you, you'll see it better, you have those hard edges. And the way you fix that, let me put that there. The way you fix that is using levels or curves, I usually use levels, so press Ctrl L to load the levels, or go to Image Adjustment Levels, and just use the left slider which is the shadows, and just move that slider to the right slightly, and also the midtones just a bit and those edges are gone. Basically what you can do with this adjustment is set the amount of glow that you want for the for the flare. Obviously if you move the this to the left you'll start to see those edges. So let's leave it there and click OK. And of course you can duplicate that with Ctrl J, move it to the other side and I'll usually I rotate this a bit so that um, I don't see the same uh, spikes there, I see this uh, light there. So I press Ctrl T to load the free transform and rotate it slightly. And there I have my flares. Press Ctrl U to load the hue saturation and give a, light, a color to this light. So press Colorize and just play with the colors here. Let's give it a blue tint and desaturate it like that. Now what I want to do is apply the, exactly the same color as I applied to this one and the way you do that is pressing Ctrl, Alt and U and that opens the hue saturation window but this time with the last settings uh, that you used. So that's a really cool uh, trick if you want to apply the same settings. Um, you can press 
control alt and the key that corresponds to the adjustment that you want to apply so we can press u for the hue saturation l for the levels m for the curves and i don't know what other adjustments are but these are the ones that i use the most so that's how you apply that uh, effect you can also apply my lens flares effects if you want to there's i made a pack with a few lens flares which you can download from my website and I'll use the one of the lens flares from the second version which is a premium version uh, just to show you what's in that pack that uh, premium uh, pack but uh, you can use the free version also they're really cool so I'll open this one and I'll copy that paste it here I'll move it here and change the blend mode to screen. So as you can see the screen mode is really uh, useful in, uh, to make this kind of light effect. And just place it there. I'll duplicate it. Move it to the other side. And maybe I'll make them smaller. And flip this one horizontally. So there you have two methods of creating uh, headlights for cars and things like that. Let's go to to the other image and let me close that one. And you can apply the same uh, the same technique. Just create a new layer, create that selection, fill it with black. Go to filter, render, lens flare, and we'll use the same the same flare click OK change the blend mode to screen use the move tool and place your light effect uh, wherever you need it I'll place it there and I will use the hue saturation again and this is the only time when I use an adjustment layer destructively so not it, it makes no sense to use it as a as an adjustment layer but you can do that if you want to and I'll check colorize and let's give it an orange color and rotate it a bit because I want to have those horizontal light spikes there and that's how you make street lights and things like that and I'll show you another image where I use that technique this is an artwork that I made for for issue 88 of Photoshop Creative and I use the same technique but uh, let me show you the original image so this was the original image well, without the mask and these are all the light effects that I added using that same technique so you can see all the cars have lights there and also the street lights are made using the same technique so yeah you can make some pretty nice effects so that's all I wanted to show you. I hope you liked uh, this technique. If you like my tutorials, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my website, psdbox.com. So thanks for watching and see you next time.